Thank you so much for tuning in, joining us for what has been an inspirational and now quite an enlightening show um, as we turn our attention to medical matters. Uh, people deal with health issues on a daily basis and every so often doctors find that patients do not respond to conventional medicine or um, uh, manipulative therapies. So often it's needed to look beyond that and certain pharmaceutical solutions and groundbreaking new laser treatment has been introduced to treat anything from pain to neurological and brain conditions like those suffered maybe uh, through sports injuries. This is very exciting. Bioflex laser therapy is safe and effective. It's a way um, that we can eliminate pain and accelerate hearing. And I've just obviously summated it very simplistically. You had to tell us a little bit more about exactly how low level laser therapy can be used in the treatment of a traumatic brain injury and brain conditions. Please welcome um, Linda Rothman from Bioflex South Africa with specialist neurologist Dr. Ashley Banjan and chiropractor David um, Kunashanko. Welcome guys. Uh, Kunashko. Welcome, thank you. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's a lot to take in. I've been trying to wrap my head around uh, exactly what it is we are talking about um, because it, it feels like a really simple answer to something that I would imagine has has frustrated many medical practitioners for a very long time. So maybe we can start with what exactly Bioflex low-level laser therapy actually is. I don't know who wants to, to weigh in first. Sure. Well, it, it's a form of light therapy. Um, it was established in the 1960s. Uh, they discovered that uh, red light uh, from lasers actually helps to heal wounds. And since then, they discovered that other wavelengths, especially uh, near-infrared, uh, can be absorbed by the cells and the tissues of the body and it accelerates uh, tissue healing. It's very much like photosynthesis where the, the sunlight will actually activate and is absorbed by chlorophyll producing uh, energy for the plant. Uh, these wavelengths are absorbed by the mitochondria of the cells which produce energy and by increasing energy of the cells you actually can help these cells recover and repair. So you mentioned neurological, wounds, arthritis, uh, anything really that has inflammation or injury can be helped. Um, I mean, the, the human body is an amazing thing. <laughs> it's just given the opportunity to heal itself, um, and it really can do that. Um, this, in this particular form, how? What was the advent? How did? Was it first discovered? When did someone just make this realization that hang on a minute, this is this is having this kind of effect? Right. Well, it was it was in the 1960s. Uh, Andre Mester, he was a Hungarian physician, and he was trying to actually um, remove a tumor, uh, and he noticed that his laser that he he was using was calibrated much lower than he thought. Uh, so instead of burning the tumor, um, he actually noticed that the hair grew back faster. Uh, this was in, in mice. And from that, he went actually on to... stimulating Exactly. Cells. And from that, he went on to look at wounds, and he irradiated the wounds with red light, and he noticed the wounds healed faster. And that basically was the, the origin uh, of low-level laser therapy. I suppose the first question from a, a complete novice in the space of lasers is, are you not going to burn the person when you, when you say sure. you're yeah. using a very low, right. low frequency? Are there any burns? Is there any kind of right. negative side effects? So lasers? in fact, yeah. it's referred to as low level because the actual power output um, isn't high enough to cause any burns or heat. Um, it, the patient doesn't feel anything actually during the treatment. Wow. Yeah. Cold laser. We call this cold laser. A cold yeah. laser. I, I'm sorry, I have to say that every time I say laser, I have to say it. Um, and, and maybe, actually, this is where I can bring you in because I'm, I'm thinking I'm constantly injured. I'm constantly <clears throat> seeing physiotherapists, constantly seeing chiropractors. I'm not even a professional sportsman. When you start moving into that space, that's where something like this really could come to bear. What, what sorts of healthcare professionals are able to, to lean on this kind of well, therapy? Well, in fact, yeah. many. I mean, you're talking about sporting injuries specifically. I'm a neurologist by trade, so I'm dealing with a lot of neurological conditions so because of its mechanism of action we're looking at uh, as an anti-inflammatory effect but it has what we call pleiotropic effects so neurological conditions specifically it's it's improving blood flow it's reducing inflammation it's releasing growth factors and imagine what that does to neurological conditions such as stroke memory loss dementia Parkinson's disease and remember this is non-invasive technology there's no known side effects with this type of medication. So we actually have been showing, even in clinical studies, that a, a, a syndrome called neurogenesis 
the promotion of new neuronal sprouting is happening. So we're in the era of a new start of clinical medicine. Uh, yeah, I understand we're using this in, in groundbreaking therapy. Yes. And I'm thinking, I just want to stimulate my brain <laughs> so I can see neural, new neural pathways. Uh, I'm great. We can help you with that. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it really is remarkable. I'm getting a sense because from all of you, I've, I've got this kind of pent up energy of like, I can't believe the world hasn't exactly. embraced this. Mm -hmm. yet. But, but that opportunity is, is yeah, and now upon us. We're going to talk a little bit deeper about some of the conditions that sure. it can be used on and, and how exactly one applies this kind of um, Bioflex laser therapy in just a moment. Guys, thank you so much for, for coming along. You might have actually stimulated a new neural pathway <laughs> just from me trying to wrap my head around this, but I am starting to understand it and certainly starting to take on board just how important something like this could be. It's my feel good worth it show. Welcome back, you're live with Expresso as we return to Health Matters being a medical Tuesday morning. I can feel um, the penny is starting to drop for me as we are approaching low-level laser therapy this morning. I've got on the couch, uh, couch specialist, neurologist, uh, Dr. Ashley Banjan. We've got chiropractor, Dr. David Kanashko and Linda Rethman from Bioflex SA. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you for opening my mind. This is one of those things where you look at and you think this is so effective and so simple. Why have we not started using this before? Why are not more healthcare professionals utilizing something that effectively, it's, it's getting our bodies to do the healing, which is probably the most effective way we've been evolving for millions of years to be able to, to do this. Uh, I'm gonna start with layers of treatment because I can see how this, and looking at your case study, it's remarkable how this can be used in severe brain injuries and more severe conditions. But if we just talk about often something that can have a very severe effect on my life, pain, management can it be used to just accelerate in general healing and help with pain management I don't know who wants to weigh in yeah absolutely uh, one of the mechanisms as uh, Ashley mentioned is through decreasing inflammation so naturally when that inflammation starts to subside uh, then your pain levels go down um, your body also releases endorphins and um, other factors that uh, actually cause pain or diminished when exposed to these wavelengths of light so uh, one of the huge benefits of of, of this therapy is actually a reduction of uh, chronic pain uh, due to arthritis or uh, injuries, uh, you know, uh, other mechanisms. And so that's where we come into it with the neurological aspects. Now, inflammation is the key to many neurological conditions, chronic headaches, migraine, degenerative disorders, even from cognitive impairment relating to dementia, uh, well, you can you can try a cocktail of pharmaceuticals right. for years with now with with zero results. Go. And this is non-invasive, and it's it's basically giving the the brain the right chemicals to do the right thing. So yes, we're mentioning that the brain and the body has the ability to heat itself. Yes, that's why we get better when we get injured, but something goes wrong, and that's why we have a progressive neurological disorders. Chronic pain syndromes are also the um, the other um, common cases that we see patients taking multiple agents have tried the invasive procedures surgical options and still battle with pain disability and inflammation is the link here because it's directly um, dealing with the area of concern it reduces inflammation so it's dealing with the core problem as simple as that um, it, it, it is powerful in the way that it is obviously a very simple process but I think a lot of people right now are going to be standing and going okay but I'm, I've been dealing with this for the years I haven't been able to find an answer where do we find it in South Africa how do we who do we speak to to be able to start looking at at this kind of low level um, laser Linda. therapy <laughs> so yes you certainly can, can speak to me um, I was very fortunate in 10 years ago my late husband was introduced to Bioflex laser at a reunion actually where he studied in Bournemouth as a chiropractor and his friend Ben at that stage had six Bioflex machines he was operating in Canada and we were so excited about what we saw that Ray actually went over to Canada and um, came back with the technology and um, Ben by the way now has 30 machines and Ray worked with it for six years before he sadly passed and um, so I have the legacy um, of this amazing, amazing um, systems, these systems, which I can now share with doctors, uh, 
physicians around the country. So we supply physiotherapists, chiropractors, homeopaths, doctors, specialists, neurologists. And yes, it's been a very exciting journey to be able to do this and change the, the way that health is going in the future. Um, get people onto healthy, beautiful, light energy and um, really help with pain and so many other of the conditions that this can help. I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people because I, I'm one of those that is very averse to, to taking a, a plethora of tablets when dealing with something. Um, but And the fact that it's non-invasive, and especially when you're dealing with... Uh, Brand, uh, book the, your flights. We'll see you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think we must just bring, bring get, get some practitioners to, yeah. to, to start getting machines down here. We're going to continue. I want to delve a little deeper into into the brain and how this can be be used and, and some of the success stories that you've been able to, um, that you've encountered. Ever. I know you've been working in this space for quite a while so um, you can think on those but um, maybe you want to weigh in maybe there's um, something that you are grappling with at the moment um, something that you haven't been able to find the right answer for as yet a pain that you've been dealing with for a very long time um, maybe this is the answer um, that you have been waiting for we're going to continue to talk about low level laser therapy in just a moment it's my feel good breakfast show Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. So we continue our discussion around Bioflex laser therapy, low-level laser therapy, something that has been proven to be hugely effective in a number of areas, but most notably for me within brain injuries and brain conditions. So, uh, David, Ashley, Linda, thank you so much for, for continuing our discussion. How safe is this kind of therapy when we enter that very dangerous space, I would imagine, where we need to be careful? When we're talking about brain injuries and brain conditions, we have a, na a natural resistance, certainly for anything invasive, but how effective can it be? What are some of the clinical effects of laser therapy when we look at brain injuries specifically? Well, brain injuries per se, uh, they encompass a, an entire cluster of symptoms, Graham. So if you think of those poor patients who have concussion, traumatic brain injuries, symptoms range from chronic headaches to migraines to numbness, pins and needles, fibromyalgia, like symptoms, uh, insomnia, so sleep disorders, mood changes. And commonly, these patients are seeing multiple specialists, ranging from physicians to psychiatrists to uh, pain specialists and to neurologists inclusive. And most patients are on medical therapy, pharmacotherapy, with minimal improvements. Remember, the mechanisms behind these disorders include multiple um, uh, ways. For example, they talk about uh, mitochondrial dysfunction. Remember, David was mentioning about yeah. how the light therapy affects the mitochondrial, so you get mitochondrial activation. So chronic fatigue syndrome, for example, oh. this chronic fatigue. So once we activate mitochondria, imagine what happens to you. You sleep better. It's natural is that your mitochondria are in an off state. So we just give it the right chemistry to at a cytokine a cellular level. <laughs> that's right, and that's what it is. So for the traumatic brain injuries, mitochondrial dysfunction, we talk about uh, excitotoxicity, all this sort of cellular, at a cellular level, the mechanisms of disease. And this is what the low level light therapy does. So it improves blood flow, reduces the excitotoxicity, improves mitochondrial dysfunction non-invasively without tablets. It seems like a no-brainer, <laughs> to be quite honest. No-brainer? David, yeah, and you can use you know, it in your next con consult. Um, I know you, you brought through some, some really interesting case studies with you, but um, maybe you can take us through, specifically with brain injuries and, and the, the more severe cases that you've been able to or you have encountered, how effective can this kind of therapy actually be? Sure. Well, you also mentioned about safety. It's been in clinical use now for over 40 years. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> And many, many uh, randomized control trials uh, have shown no side effects. Uh, the energy itself is uh, non-ionizing, so it's not like x-rays or ultraviolet. So we know that the energy is actually very safe, even around the head. Um, in our clinic in Toronto, where the company is based, um, you know, we've seen hundreds and hundreds of uh, post-concussion syndrome. You know, in Canada, we play hockey, uh, ice hockey, uh, <laughs> you know, where we have a lot of trauma. I've been watching the World Cup of Rugby, and uh, obviously, you have a lot of head That's trauma as well, too. That's a massive, massive part so, of So, you know, yeah. we see patients come
coming in with multiple concussions over the years and uh, they have uh, migraines and they have uh, you know chronic pain light sensitivity brain fog it hasn't cleared up uh, and every concussion makes that worse so we've had cases where uh, they've had years of these symptoms and within you know a month or so a month and a half of treatment uh, how, how often would you go for the hump is it safe to do it every day how, yeah. how would you so, how would so you... we actually depending on on the patient presentation it's usually we see a patient maybe twice or three times a week uh, and that might be for two or three or four weeks until the symptoms start to get better uh, and then we'll t uh, sort of tailor it off a little bit and then oftentimes they're they're uh, they're at a maximal medical recovery they're feeling good and they're released to care anywhere from a, a month two months depending on on the diagnosis I'm just lamenting the fact that there, there isn't a machine right <laughs> down in, in Cape Town. But I, um, yeah, no, very much so. I, I think you, you guys are obviously onto something that's it's not new. <laughs> it's been proven to be working for mm -hmm. a while, but hopefully it does really, really catch on here. I think we need more medical practitioners mm -hmm. to start thinking about this as a non-invasive way of being able to help. It sounds like a myriad of conditions mm -hmm. that, that are uh, for so long. I mean, I can apply it to my own scenario. Um, in, in so many different ways. Um, thank you so much for, for broadcasting the message out there. Um, maybe a good place to start is for those of us who are suffering from um, any, even if it's just chronic pain or, or, or persistent pain, to speak to your medical practitioner, start the conversation that way. Ask them about low light or laser therapy and or low level laser therapy low level laser therapy there is something very special there i think um to be gleaned for for a number of reasons and i, I really really interested <laughs> i think i'm going to fly to durban <laughs> okay, see you there <laughs>